Hey guys, I just wanted to show a quick video on throttle cut. And I think this is really a function that everyone who flies RC and has a uh, computer-based radio uh, should set up. Uh, it's really easy to set up on the Spectrum uh, radios. And I want to show you, uh, just scroll down to throttle cut. And as you notice right now, it's just set to inhibit. Um, and we're going to set that to... Uh, I like to set it to gear one. Uh, that's just my preference. And you notice that gear one is selected now. And then we have a position percentage. And what I'm going to do is move this all the way to negative uh, 30%. Now, <clears throat> what that's going to do is you'll notice the uh, gear switch. Uh, if I can zoom out here. That's gear zero and that's gear one. Now what the throttle cut uh, is going to do uh, when it's on gear one position is it's going to make the throttle minus 30%. So even if I have the throttle all the way here um, or here, uh, when I have that gear switch to the uh, one position, it's going to keep my motor from throttling up at all. <clears throat> so, and I can't stress how important this is, uh, and many of you guys have probably experienced it and just been really lucky. Um, but a lot of times we will, you know, be flying our planes and maybe we'll reach for something, you know, and your sleeve catches it. Throttle goes wide open, then you've got basically a spinning blade at 30,000 RPMs that you're not really prepared for. And your arms, your fingers, your face even, all of those things can be in harm's way. So the throttle cut's really nice. Now one thing I want to mention about how throttle cut works, because a lot of guys get confused about this and experience weird issues. The only thing with throttle cut you got to remember is that if you plug in the battery and you have throttle cut on and your throttle is at zero, what will happen is you won't see any weird issue when you first plug the battery in um, and the throttle's at zero percent. Your plane's just going to be sitting there. But what's going to happen is if when you un uh, engage your throttle cut. So in other words, uh, you put it on gear zero. Get this zoomed in. Put it on gear zero. Your throttle is going to uh, <clears throat> advance 30% basically. Because what happens is your, com your computer radio, when you plug the battery in, it thinks this is zero. So it thinks your throttle's at zero this is at zero because this creates a baseline for it. When it powers on, um, it thinks, okay, I'm at zero percent. And then when you unengage the throttle cut, it thinks, okay, I'm at 30 percent throttle, even though the throttle is at zero. So keep that in mind. Um, and the only way really to uh, undo that, so to speak, is just to unplug your battery on your plane and plug it back in without the throttle cut engaged. <clears throat> throttle cut works really good aside from that fact so you got to kind of train yourself just to remember I need to have my throttle cut unengaged when I plug my battery in so my plane knows where the throttle truly is then once you plug your plane in everything is bound up to the plane engage that throttle cut until you are ready to uh, hand launch a plane or take off your plane so Anyway, hopefully that's a helpful tip for you guys. And again, I think it's something great to set up on every model that you have. Uh, it's a really nice safety feature. And it keeps you from, you know, inadvertently hit, hitting the throttle full throttle and, you know, hurting yourself or someone else around you. So, until next time, guys, uh, this is RC Tech Guy. Please visit the website. It's uh, rcairspace.com. Got a lot of nice uh, blog articles and follow-ups to videos that posted on YouTube. So, 
Have a good one, guys. Happy flying. Spring's coming up soon. Looking forward to it. Thanks.